that they're made for three reasons. One, to enact or create a new law to the Constitution. Two, to approve or reject a law already approved. And three, to amend or update the Constitution. So again, how do proposals get on the ballot? Well, here's another vocab lesson. Several states have an initiative process, which is the option for citizens to propose and initiate a constitutional or state amendment. This means regular people can propose amendments to their constitutions. Other states have what is called a referendum process, which allows citizens to enact or deny a law already passed by their state legislatures. Some states have both an initiative process and a referendum process. Some states, however, have neither. But we still haven't answered this question yet. How do proposals get on the ballot? Basically, in a state like Michigan that allows initiatives and referenda, proposals can get on a ballot from the state legislature and also by citizens collecting enough signatures from other citizens to get on the ballot. This is the simplest way to explain how proposals get on a ballot. However, no two states' requirements are exactly the same, so if you're looking to put a proposal on your own state's ballot, you'll have to do some research of your own.